I cannot. I guess we're going to have to go with the flow. Welcome, everybody, to Clog Bean Community Game Nights. I'm your host, the Morton Man, and today we're going to have a very intense battle of the gods. And I'm joined in the commentary booth with McSticky. How are you doing tonight, McStick? It's good to be back, old Mort. It's great to have you here, buddy. Let's go over our matchups here. Uh, going over, we have Pyro over in the solo lane with the Mulan pick. Omens, he's going to go to the middle lane with Baba Yaga. Already in the beginning, you can see the Pyro is very low on health. Maybe a very, very early fight up against Ravana. I think this is going to be an early clap for I'm cheating on PSN. Ray doing what he does and just clapping cheeks over there in the solo lane. We'll get to him in a second. Uh, we still have Clog Bean, who's going to be support over there with Charon. He's been playing a lot of Charon lately, but I wonder if he's going to go tank or if he's going to go damage over here. Uh, Thor is our jungler here. This is Kira's alt account. An alt account. Uh, playing some Thor in the jungle. And then we have Jibnerb, who is our hunter for tonight. Great to see Jibner back here in the community game. She's getting pinned up against the wall. They're going for a little bit of early scrimmaging here. A lot of poke done on, on her. That is uh, Shiny Jupiter. I've heard some good things about Jupiter. But I haven't really played too much with them. Uh, we also have... Uh, let me go over the matchup here. Enrage Wasp Kronos is here in the middle lane, looks like. Looks like Max is here with the Bacchus pick support. We already seen Ray get a first blood for the Chaos team. Got Ravana pick, and then the jungler is Thanos. Thanatos. And speaking of fighting over there with Ray, just a second ago, oh, it looks like an early pick for Enrage Wasp. Goodness, I don't know what I'm doing here. What the heck? It did not swap how I was supposed to. Well, that is two early kills. We're two minutes in, and that's two early kills for the Chaos team. Very big fights happening very early. Wow, this is huge. I'm not going to lie. On my end, the game was coming in at about 144. I thought I was watching a game of Minecraft, but it only just now uh, started to clear up. Hopefully, we get to see some action soon. What, 144p? Is that what you mean? Yeah, just about. Hmm, interesting. But it, it just just recently smoothed out, so we're in business. Okay, all right. That's the the bad thing about streaming here. It looks like there might be a pick for the order team over here in the long lane. A lot of damage jilts off, but it wasn't focused on the same god. Looks like Charon is going after Bacchus, and Gibner was going after Max here. Sorry, Jupiter. And uh, they couldn't just get one focus off, or one target's focus off. But they sent Bacchus back to base, so a successful little scrimmage. Looks like we just missed a kill over there in the solo lane. Pyro collapsing the kill. I think that he tried to steal that uh, blue buff. Didn't realize that Thor was nearby. They collapsed on Ray to get a quick pick. And that is the first kill for the Order team. So shout out for Thor for having that situational awareness. Jumping over and doing what he does. Meanwhile, he's also going to go over, capitalize on that, and steal the blue buff away from Ray. And you can imagine somebody like Ray. Look at how he's chasing him down. Ray's pissed. Uh, if you know Ray personally, let me tell you, he's like a human microwave. He heats up and he just gets pissed. Bro, I cannot even imagine the toxicity in that chat if both Dragoon and Ray ended up on the same team. <laughs> Dragoon is out of this match, sadly. Uh, we don't, we won't be seeing him tonight, but hopefully another night soon we'll be able to get him back in. Uh, but until that, until that point, we are doing just fine. Looks like there's a, a scrimmage that's about to start over here in the long lane. Maybe not. Might just be some pokey dokey. Turn your left foot around. Uh, yeah, it looks like the regular stuff. Looks like Clog Bean's a little low on mana. I'm trying to fight this. Let me get the. I didn't really get a perfect setup here. Let me switch these things around. There we go. There we you go. You know, I'm expecting some big things from Clog Bean with the Caron pick. Mm hmm. Because if last. If uh, last community game night's any indication, he should be putting down some numbers. Now, you got to think also. That we did see a uh, clog bean take care of the jungle instead of the support lane. So now he's kind of required to go into the tank role. Unless he wants to that put his team true. behind a little bit. Because without him, Mulan's your only tank. And that's that's just not who you need to have is your only tank. Uh, Mulan <laughs> is just not that guy. But it looks like they might be going in for a quick pick here early. Uh, Gibnerb getting caught out because his jungler and support were not around. But they're going to show up a little bit later. 
Honor is jumping over the Thor wall. Charon is chasing after him, trying not to let him go away. The ult comes away from Charon. Just a little bit of damage needed, but it looks like Honor is going to get get out of that one alive. But it looks like during that time, we just missed a bit of a fight over in the solo lane. Thanos gets a quick pick, walks away with the, the, his first kill for the, or sorry, second kill for the Chaos team. For a second there, I thought the Clock Bean was going to do a little bit of the Ray treatment and chase him down out of pure spite. I'm afraid not. I don't think that's what, uh, I don't think that's what was going to happen. Not not with, uh, you had to keep in mind, Charon did not have that, that mana at the time. And also, he's got some long cooldowns. We're still very early into the game. Uh, it's it's going to be a rough start for Charon, truthfully. I think that he's definitely more of a late game god than early. So we're just going to have to wait and see what he can pull off later on in the game. Uh, I, I do want to note, look how Charon is getting that early Spear of Desolation. That is a lot of damage early. Instead of going for the tank route, uh, that, that's a risky pick right there. Might bite your butt over later in the game. Well, you know Bleen. Bleen? Oh, <laughs> Bean does as Bean is. Did you see what these... Ooh, a llama. <laughs> llama doing something big there. Good lord. <laughs> that was half health in just such quick time. Talk about a, a classic Thanos play right there. I mean, good lord. <laughs> oh, man. And I can't help but notice a distinct lack of hate in this matchup. We're missing a, a pivotal... A piv God damn, I cannot talk. We're missing a, a pivotal toxic player in Ninja. Looks like Bacchus might get out of this one alive. Cog Bean just trying to chase under tower. Dies to the tower. You know, it is what it is. These things happen. Maybe if he had gone the tank route instead of the early Spear of Desolation, he could have survived that. I just think it was a crazy pick. I, I definitely don't agree with that one as a tank. I love to play tank. I love to be the beefiest guy on the field. And I think that going for that early Spear might be the wrong move. But Thanos is looking to chase maybe Thor under tower here. Quick pick. And dives back into the enemy's jungle. Maybe looking for a free camp or two here. Maybe rotating with Ravana, who seems to be doing a little bit of proxying. I don't know, I don't know exactly what his deal is here. Pyro missing the yep. hook there. Mort, you know me. I'm known for three things. Mm -hmm. Being the stickiest, the saggiest, and the beefiest. Yes. They don't Lord. call me Mick Sticky Saggy Britches for nothing. I, I don't think they do. I don't think very many call you that for no reason whatsoever. Uh, looks like Mulan's just missing every hook that she can throw out. That's kind of a shame. I, I expect Pyro to do some bigger things here in the solo lane. Looks like Thor's going to miss that stun. Th Ravana just hit the ultimate move. He's going to be very tanky at this time. Be careful trying to fight this man. Oh my goodness. The 2v1 situation. You could just... I mean, look at Ray just going in. Wasp is rotating over, trying to go for a quick pick. I don't think he's going to secure anything at this moment in time. Looks like Honor just coming back from the realms. And the Karen O comes out, might secure it. There you go. Clog Bean's damage might be paying off. They might have such an early advantage over in the duo land that it could carry over to the other lanes and really uh, get something happening for the Order team. Because right now, things don't look so great for Order. See out here once again, Clog Bean with the Charon quite early establishing himself on one of the top damagers. Oh my gosh, that is true. I just see that. Oh no. Very good play from Jibnerb getting out of trouble, leaving Clog Bean behind in the dust, but it is what it is. You gotta lose some you gotta make some sacrifices sometimes to get these big plays going, and he definitely sacrificed Clog Bean with no hesitation. I'm not surprised. We've seen a lot of Karan lately. We haven't seen the Yorm pick in a while. Well, the, yeah, I guess we haven't seen him in the solo lane is why. And Yorm's really just proficient in the solo lane, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, you got to play. One. Yeah, thanks, yeah. <laughs> thanks, this is what yeah. it is. Looks like Baba Yaga might be going in there. Oh, was out of position a little bit, but uses the third to rotate back in. Looks like Omen is just fine. He's going to go back to base unless Thanos applies a little bit of pressure. I don't think you really got enough here. Mm. 
man. I feel like uh, Charon's a really big counter to Bacchus in, in this situation. I mean, as soon as Bacchus starts burping, Charon can just throw out the silence. And then Bacchus' burps are no longer happening. You know what this match really needs? Some 80% cooldowns. Yeah, right. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Looks like Thanos is deep diving under tower. And Rage Wasp getting a very, very nice capitalization. That wasn't very good. <laughs> that wasn't very good. <laughs> Looks like Rage getting ganked from Thor. Mulan Pyro looking to secure something here on Ray. Ray might just make it. Oh, I don't know what you're going for, man. He doesn't have the mana. He doesn't have the health. I mean, he turned around real quick. I guess just a proc shield real quick. But he doesn't have the health for that shield to really do a whole lot in just one stack. That's really something you got to accumulate over time and bring into a fight this early as opposed to... Oh, Kron Kronos just a little bit late. Didn't get the message quite in time. Now it looks like he's rotating over for maybe no reason. Maybe not. He might try and fight Thor here. Where they're feeling himself because Thanos is around. They might capitalize on Thor being way out of position. Huge damage from Llama. Huge damage. Oh my god. I'm out here. I'm looking for some crazy plays. I want to see a fire giant at 15. Yeah, right. Can't, I want to see him do something crazy. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, look, I, I think the, the biggest plays we've seen so far from Thanos right here, who seems to be roaming around and treating the whole jungle like it's his place of living, uh, does not care about what anybody else is doing. He's just doing his own thing. I see Bean is still sitting at almost 7,000 damage in the support role. Looks like Gibner was a little bit out of trouble, uses Bifrost to get back into a safe position. This is the, like maybe the third or fourth time that I've seen Gibner a little bit out of position, doesn't realize that his support is gone, and he's just pushing up way too far without any type of wards. Oh, I actually know there are wards. I'm starting to think that Heimdall's a support with all this damage that Clog's putting out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. A little bit of tower I'm defense. I'm starting to think we got the Karon carry pick. Karon carry? And the insane Heimdall support pick. Mm. How'd your day at uh, work go today, McStick? It was it was quite slow. We were pretty busy for the first couple hours, but after that, the whole day just dragged ass. Then, uh, so on Saturdays, nobody takes a lunch break, so they uh, the company provides lunch, and in service we ordered pizza. Well. Someone wasn't invited to the party, and I only got one slice of pizza for lunch. So I was about to go to Taco Bell, but then uh, my boss sent me to Taco Bell to pick up some Taco 12 packs. So it was, it was a party for lunch. It was a party for lunch with that Taco 12 pack. Looks like there's a party going on in the solo lane. Caron rotating way over to try and capitalize on Ray, being a little low on health. Caron goes out. That's the fear. Oh, just a second away, Mulan not hitting a single hook this entire game. Embarrassing. Thanos looking to save his teammate here. Now everybody's in the business. Looks like it's a party in the jungle. That's one for one so far. This is huge. Caron yeah. might be looking to make it out. Aggravate the fire giant. That's the wrong person you want to piss off this early. Thanos really wants to fight here. It looks like Baba Yaga might be a little bit out of position. Doesn't have many teammates around to really be in position. Path Llama gets the huge scythe. Huge sight. Big damage. That is just so huge. Clock being not being able to save his teammates here. Another scythe. Another scythe. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, Ray is really lucky that Dragoon isn't in this match. Because if he was in this match, the old microwave would never hear the end of it. Oh, Oh, that microwave time would be beeping left and right. Bro, Thanos <laughs> doing some huge things this game. I'm surprised he didn't have top damage. He is just chunking scythe after scythe after scythe. Oh, my God. 
Just huge, man. That is so crazy. Thor looking to capitalize on Kronos having some low health. Bacchus looking to save his teammate here. And the Pathalama execution. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. 8 0 and 3 this early into the game. 15 minutes in. He's 8 0 and 3. That's almost a kill participation every minute of this game. Oh my lord, this guy's just doing huge things. Uh, truth be told, a lot of people are not going to be too shocked because Thanos' uh, prime time is in in the early game. He's got a lot of good base damage, and uh, you can see he's already got Jotuns, he's already got Hydras, he's got some, and Titan's Bane, very huge damage items online already, so he's going to be able to put out a lot. Very huge. Ray's got pretty handily the most damage. But if you look, so far, it's only got one kill. Uh, I, and that's where a lot of people get confused in the whole, like, well, I've got top damage. That means I'm the best player. Well, I mean, look, you're not doing the craziest a lot for your team. Look, you got your one, three, and two. One, three, and two with top damage. That just means you're fighting a lot. It doesn't mean that you're getting the most kills. It doesn't mean that you're doing the most for your team. It just means you're fighting a lot. Oh, my God. Looks like the Ray, Ray is going to get heated up here. Everybody's oh. rotating around. Start the timer. Mulan hit it, missing another hook. I mean, I've just never seen somebody miss that many abilities. But looks like the Chaos team rotated right after Order Team did. Just, I mean, they don't stand a chance. With Pathalama doing what Pathalama's doing, look, this, this snowball is just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. He's already level 17. I mean, this is just huge. Dive under the tower. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god, Kira, nowhere to be found in any of these team fights. He's decided to go into the enemy jungle just to farm a little bit, trying to get caught up to where Thanos is, but I don't think Bro, he's going to be able 11, to. 11, 11, and 0. Talk about a dominating performance from Pat the Llama here. This truly was not my uh, my star pick going into this game. I would have thought it had been Ravana in the solo lane or maybe even Kronos, but Path the Llama showing up and showing out. Good lord. Bad positioning yet again from Jibnerb, just not realizing where everybody's at and uh, gets, gets caught out yet again. He's just trying to push. The man's just trying to farm. Uh, I don't know how long he's had this this full tran right here, but the man just wants to stack. Oh my god. Oh my god. He gets caught yet again. Thanos is now 12 and 0 and 3. This early into the game. Absolutely massive. Looks like the order team is going for Pyro. They might get interrupted here early. Garon getting out of town. The Llama won't let him, though. Mulan, maybe going for a back here? Oh. Oh. Oh, man, Llama. Llama's doing some huge things. This might be the, the biggest snowball that I've seen since Dragoon had the Hades game maybe a week or two ago. This is just huge, man. Llama's really getting the loins flowing. The loins? Is that what you said? <laughs> With 13 and 0, getting the loins flowing. The loins? I've never even heard that before. That is crazy. Well, uh, you know. Are you you having fun there? Yeah, I'm <laughs> just making sure my buttons work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I recently binded everything differently. It looks like Jibner might be out of position yet again. Jibner oh. just not being able to figure things out. At this point, he's now just feeding into the giant snowball that is almost a level 20 Thanos. I mean, 19 minutes in the game, and Thanos is already 19. This is just I'm not huge. even in the game, and I'm about to report everyone on the order team for intentional feeding Thanos. Oh, my God. Everybody just ganging up on Ray. I think I think they're <laughs> the spam laughing. Going off. The spam laughing from Clog Bean. Here's the thing: you, <laughs> you get Ray pissed off early, he's gonna be pissed for the entire game. Maybe even games to follow. So once you get him tilted, uh, whoever's team he's on is now at a disadvantage from having tilted Ray just not doing what he can be. <laughs> I mean, one, four, and six. Just what a what a, a slow way to start. 
At the llama getting another pick on Thor. I don't even know where that was. I feel like all the health bars were fine when I looked, but the next thing you know, Path the Llama shows up and chunks whoever he sees. Just dominating the competition right now. Insane. Yeah, let me tell you, I can hear the uh, the done timer screaming from the other channel. <laughs> I would be surprised to see an early surrender for all I know. Mulan hitting the first pick of the game. Oh, about time. Mulan finally hitting an ultimate. That's three knockups. Very big. On her trying to leap out and get out of trouble. Maybe put out a little bit of damage with the ult. It gets enough to get one kill out, but still gets wiped out from Clog Bean. Mulan getting out of dodge. Looks like Clog Bean's a little bit behind trying to roll out of there. And it looks like he's just, just getting out of dodge. That damn house on chicken legs. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that thing's moving. That's the Baba Yaba pick. <laughs> And Path the Llama in the back lines. Thor just a little bit late. Looking like they might try to avenge the Mulan hook yet again. Mulan's really trying to get some momentum building on her hooks. Pyro is shutting down here. Got a big push from the Chaos team. What is this right here that keeps showing up? I do not know. Accolade display. Let's get this like in the corner or something. Or I can not have to see that. <laughs> in my face all the time having a little there bit of technical go. difficulties here on the mud stream yeah i mean it's not even a difficult yeah it is a bit yeah, you're right you're right you're right whatever and this looks like a free fury unless caron has something to say about it Baba Yaga and caron trying to contest the chaos team see the ultimate from chronos trying to get his health back after getting a little bit of poke damage in Heron's always got something to say. Mulan diving into the back line. Trying to get a little bit of damage off here on the Fury. I mean, they're just kind of ignoring it, going back and forth. Look, that Fury is no longer even in the fight. This is now a full-fledged team fight between both teams. Uh, Charon a little bit deeper in. Shiny Jupiter getting the old soft, getting the kill on Clog Bean. Path the Llama doing huge things. Thank goodness that Baba Yaga had Aegis there. Otherwise, she would have been out of business. Just terrified of, of the damage that Thanos oh, can man. put out. The microwave is pissed. <laughs> You're telling me, you buddy. See, you see him running after the whole team by himself? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Not, not exactly the play I would have done, but he got out in the end. After a successful defense, the fire giant early, they're going to go right back in. And, I mean, if anything, this is an easier elimination now that the whole team is grouped up. That's really all that they did. All that Order did during that little uh, pokey doke is they just got everybody, all five together. They lost that team fight, and now that's a free Fury instead of a maybe possible one. Yeah, I'm noticing that Clock Bean is starting to fall off on the damage front. Well, let's take a look at his build. Uh, he definitely gave up after Spirit Desolation and went for the <laughs> Breastplate of Valor. Uh, Glorious Pridwin, both. I mean, Pridwin, er, this is kind of an early Prid. I'm a little bit surprised by that one, to be truthful with you. <coughs> well, he is using his ult quite a bit. Yeah, he is. But uh, he just didn't have the props to make that shield very huge just yet. Uh, the Baba Yaga will try to put out some damage. Path the Llama having something to say about anybody even living in this game. Good lord, Pat the Llama chasing down Mulan. You can see on the other side here. Oh, 18 and 1. Just oh, huge. Man, we missed it. I, w I, I don't know when it happened, but Pat the Llama is at 18 and 1. Uh, it happened about two minutes ago. It was before the Gold Fury fight. Shiny Jupiter getting some more damage off. I mean, look, when you, when you see Onher on the team, tanks kind of need to be worried because if there's a good Onher out on the field, tanks are not going to live through that natural penetration that Honor has with this passive. And uh, that's really showing because Charon is just wiping the floor. Or sorry, getting wipes on the floor. Oh, Honor has Honor. plenty of natural penetration, let me tell you. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. All right. That's enough of that. Jibnerb trying to get a little bit of Phoenix defense off, but can't do the job, can't really get him off. Hero ulting back down getting a kill on Enraged. Just huge damage from the Bobo, pinning him up against the wall. 
That's a double kill for Kira. Maybe trying to get something going, but I mean, this is just this. This is going to be a hard win. Look, look at how many more towers that uh that Chaos team has over order. It's going to be huge. Quite a bit. Look at the gold. That's 10k gold difference. This is just a dominating performance from order team overall as a whole. Um, really, Ray is the only one that's maybe suffering a little bit. Just kind of getting a couple assists here and there. Um, everybody else is doing what they're supposed to be doing just fine. I thought about bringing up the 11 and 30, but we have seen a team with significantly less kills come back for the win. That's true. Uh, I, I think that the, the good thing about... Oh, it looks like Thanos might be going in on Pyro here. In execution range, he just got to hit it past the Llama, get another kill for the Chaos team. Kira swinging that hammer for his life, avenging his fallen teammate. Ray trying to get out of town, using his second to get some immunity, trying to get out. But looks like Order Team doesn't want him to leave. Just a little bit longer for the rest of the festivities in the party. Ravana tanky as ever. Looking like an M1 Abrams. But they, he just doesn't have it in him to live. Jim Nerve showing up and putting in the last couple final back shots. Oh my gosh. Just taking forever to kill people, but at least they are. The numbers game is just showing right now. Kira getting yet another kill. Really trying to find some momentum after suffering so much in the early game. And that's the first good thing we've seen for Order in quite some time. Looks like they're going to go for Fire Giant with uh, really no fight. Really no... Uh, I mean, Onher just has no idea. And he's the only one that's awake on the Chaos scene, it looks like. That's well, a free fire. I was kind of hoping to see that Fire Giant about 12 minutes ago. But now, when I, fir when I first thought... Oh, look, if you look back at the base, it's like Fire Minions are showing up back for the, uh, the Order Titan. I don't know what is going on here. Oh, the Titan's gone. The minion showed up to just stand there because the Titan is over there in the solo lane. <laughs> oh, the Titan is gone. <laughs> what a quirky mechanic, Hyrus. <laughs> Man, those those minions waiting for the Titan were caught with their dicks out. <laughs> oh my god. Just standing there waiting for the Titan to return. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been some huge titan damage off if if they, they weren't around. I mean, there was literally nobody there. The minions were just standing there waiting for somebody to show back up. Pat the Llama getting yet another kill on Kira. Uh, Kira just cannot duel what is Thanos. Thanos with that natural type of life steal. Looks like Thanos is going up in the ultimate move. Maybe looking to jump on Baba after the ultimate's done. I don't really know who they were going for at that point. Yeah, the order team's just getting wiped over there. You can see that Bob is just trying to get out, but I don't think it's going to happen. Gets a quick kill on Llama, tosses right over the team. That was pretty cool. I I'd like to see that one. That was a... You, know, you turn around and at least do something. But it might not be enough. On her trying to put some pressure on the Phoenix that just got back up to life. Chaos Titans getting to the Order Titan. This might be the final push that they need. This might be the final push. Pyro trying to get some damage off on the Chaos Titan. Just fighting with the Order Titan, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think the overwhelming numbers on the Chaos team are just going to be more than enough to finish off there the game. Is. That's huge. 16 to 35. I mean, they, look, they tried to make a little bit of a comeback with the gold and not really the kills, but, you know, they tried, but they just couldn't do it. Shout out to the old no, Chaos team for doing what they do.